As long as it's not a fucking scooter, you know, it really doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry if I offended any scooter riders out there, but you guys pissed me off because you don't have to have a motorcycle ride license to ride the same shit I gotta ride. And I gotta pay money to go to the class. Well didn't uh, recently they had to start registering here, didn't they? Yeah, they gotta be registered, but you 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 know okay so and we're down here at the beach and we should have went up Atlantic. That was what I should have done. Uh go ahead. We should have went up Atlantic, uh and I could have showed you, you know, these guys riding around here just with uh guys riding around here with with their fucking flip-flops and shorts and no shirt on with a helmet a full face helmet that's pushed back on their head so it's not even on their head and they're on a scooter you know and that's okay and they don't get a ticket for that but yet god forbid i don't have a helmet on or or, or something that i'm supposed to have on you know and then i get crucified for it but you know and they don't have to pay the money to you know we paid 150 bucks to go get the the, the safety course you know, and, and, and uh, I just think it's kind of stupid that you, know, you can ride a scooter, you don't have to be certified or, you know, go through any of the safety courses and you don't have to ride a scooter, but you do a Harley. And some of those damn scooters, man, anybody that lives overseas or that's been overseas can attest to this. Uh, you know, most places, in, especially like in Europe, that's all they ride is scooters yeah. and like 250s. Yeah, you know, you don't see a whole lot of stuff bigger than a 250 over there. The law there is, is because uh, if you're under the age of 20, I think it is, you're not allowed to ride anything faster than a See him almost eat it when he hit that hole right there. Yeah, no, I've seen it. <laughs> uh, I, I don't have. I can't really recommend any 125s because I just we don't have them here. They're not. They're not available. So for you guys that like have the R125, a little baby Yamaha R6, uh, it's so hard to recommend something like that when we can and stuff like that. So uh, and while you were bringing it up, that the uh, the helmet shit. Uh, my whole thing uh, with helmets is you know, I, I, I to each their own, I guess, but. Why people like the little half helmets? Like my dad wears the half helmets, and he's wearing he's wearing my track helmet that I'll be wearing to track and stuff. Uh, my old helmet now, so we can vlog and stuff. But I don't know. I I, I never understood any other type of and maybe this is still a sport bike rider. But I never understood any other type of helmet other than a full face because the whole thing is if you're gonna crash, yeah, with the with the little half bucket thing, the top of your head's not gonna get domed. But what happens if you slide the face? I just, you know, I, you know, when I, when I was riding it, when I was younger, you know, you, there, you didn't have a helmet at all, so you didn't have to wear a helmet. So it really wasn't a big, you know, wasn't a big deal. But I don't know. I, I just like the half helmet. I can see better. I can smell everything that's going on. I can hear better. You know, I can hear traffic and stuff like that better. And uh, I just, I, I prefer it. Um, you know, but, but it is to each his own. I mean, I know guys. We went down to Myrtle Beach uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, as soon as you go from North Carolina to South Carolina, there's people pulled off to the side of the road just to take their helmet off. And, and you know, to each his own, man. If you don't want to ride with a helmet, that's what freedom, you know, if that's what freedom is for you on a bike, then, then knock yourself out. But that's, you know, I'm gonna at least wear something to keep my brain intact, uh, you know, so that I can donate it to science. Uh, you know, more than have it splattered all over the highway. We, we laugh, uh, some of my friends will, uh, it's like, what's it? South Carolina, you don't need a helmet. Florida, you don't need a helmet. Like, those states down there, we laugh because you'll see, uh, I mean, you'll see it when you're down there. Um, but you'll see some of the pictures of like, Harley guys, with, like, no helmets on, but they have, like, uh, they have, like, a cool bandana on, on their head. And, uh, we, we always get a good laugh out of that. So, like, oh, yeah, at least he's wearing that DOT Kevlar bandana just in case. 
You know what that's for? What? You know you put they put that on there for? What? A to keep the sun off your forehead and B so when the bugs start dinging off your forehead it doesn't hurt as bad. Uh, I thought there was some type of DOT beat bandanas. <laughs> Man, I saw I saw guys down there, and when we were down there is when that uh, that storm came through, that that tropical storm. Yeah. There was dudes down there on Mother's Day. It's fucking pouring down rain, like in buckets. And it was Bike Week down there. Myrtle Beach Bike Week started that weekend, and there was dudes riding with no helmet on in the pouring down rain. And I'm like, okay, that's just fucking stupid. Yeah. You know, first of all, it's raining, so you're already at risk on a, on a two wheel vehicle as it is and then you got no helmet on so the rain's got to be lighting your ass up because that stuff that shit stinks when it when it's coming down and then you know now you got no helmet on it's raining you got no rain suit or no reflective colors on that, that's just that's absolutely retarded I don't like if I went on the highway someplace you know like if I rode down to see you or if I took a trip I would wear that that full face I wish it was black but I would wear that full face that, that's at the house because you know on the highway it's, it, it is a little bit quieter uh, you know and it does provide a little bit more protection when you're when you're going you know that fast I guess it's kind of dumb we're going right to that, right. Look at that I guess blue, Dad. Look at the blue on that one. yeah that's looking sharp yeah. that's what I want right there folks if you want to know that bike right back there is what I want I hate to tell you but I think that full face is coming with me that what that full face in the garage that's bullshit. That's my first ever helmet. Ever. So what? You already gave it to me, Indian giver. Bullshit. You did. You said you can have that one, Dad. No, I can't hear so you fucking bring it. Well, then why don't you let me have this one? This one's badass. You said I look good. That's my track helmet. I can't wear a variant on track. You need to get, you need to get a, does a Harley make a full face? Uh, I'm not going to pay the money for a Harley Davidson okay, well, full face helmet. We'll get an icon one. I'll get a shoe or something like that. I, what? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Showies are more expensive than I. Well, you know, it, I am protecting my head, so. Well, yeah, showies. If you want, you want a helmet to protect your head, go for showies. But showies are probably going to be more expensive than the Harley's. Actually, I don't know. Harley is kind of a price, but. H H D stands for hundred dollars. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I mean, I would. I'm a. Uh, we should we'll look at some uh, that you can probably get a badass uh, orange accent if one too. Now that would be kind of cool if I could get one with the accents on my bike. Yeah, but what happens when you get a new bike? I'd paint it orange. <laughs> you paint, you paint the bike before you paint the helmet. Oh uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to look at some, but uh, but I think we're going to go ahead and cut this vlog off here, guys. I'm probably going to turn this into two vlogs. So if you see this vlog, uh, obviously this will be the end of the second one. If you see this one just started randomly, it's because I was cutting this baby into two. Uh, we vlogged for a good minute, so I don't see why I can't cut it into about 8 to 10 periods. So, um, guys, every time I go to Virginia Beach, uh, I, I do love to do, I do vlogs, and so I did one uh, by myself, but uh, you better bet every single time I come here, we'll have to do some type of uh, dual vlog with my dad and make it some type of, like, series. It'll be pretty cool because, you know, the one we recorded was six months ago, this one, and then, you know, when I'm back uh, later in the year, it'll be that much farther so that much stuff will change. You know, uh, my dad won't have this bike for, you know, crazy long, so you'll be able to see the bike change and stuff, so it's gonna be pretty cool. But uh, for the most part, guys, I hope you guys like the vlogs. I really enjoy doing them. I know my dad does too, so. Hell yeah. Uh, you guys, let me know how you like the dual vlogs with my dad down in the comments and whatnot. Uh, dad, you wanna say anything? Yeah, hey, uh, if, if you guys are, you know, out riding, just be careful and, uh, you know, if you, if you if somebody waves to you, wave back, man. Doesn't matter what kind of bike they're on. Like I said before, man, we're we're all out here together and, and uh, you know trying to stay away from people in cages when we're out here riding. So uh, support your local biker, whether it's a Harley or a Yummy R6 bike or uh, a Supermoto. So you know we're all out here uh, risking our lives and and you know to do something that we we thoroughly enjoy. So uh, take care, everybody. Be safe. Keep the rubber side down. I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye.